this video because I think it is severely undervalued and I want to explain to you I guess why I think so on like a fundamental like level so we can take a look at like Alibaba's financials and stuff and then um, I want to show you some analysis I got like a little chart over here we can break this down in a minute but let's just go with Yahoo page really quick Mark cap, market cap is 554 billion, 24 BE, I guess 24 and a half about earnings are maybe like in about a week or so. Uh, all the analysts are saying to buy it too, but I mean it doesn't really mean that much. But look at this really linear, steady revenue growth with the good earnings as well. Um, that's powerful. This is a pretty big company too. It has went down a lot since last October, though. About it's down about 35 or 20, I think 35 percent. Yeah, so it's definitely down a lot. But uh, I think uh, it's a decent value right now. I did buy some this morning because I think it's bad enough falling, and I'll show you guys some numbers, and it looks really spicy. So.
like cheap compared to a decently high 20 multiple cash flow like so quite impressive i'm not saying it has to get there tomorrow but i am saying that no i'm sorry this is a 10 i didn't even have it at 20 sorry so i was playing around numbers a 20 percent multiple or 20 times multiple with this is actually 2.8 trillion market cap which would make it bigger than amazon which we're going to compare it to in a second I just did a $10 or a 10 multiple because I didn't really believe the numbers. But anyway, let's do a 20 times multiple. That gets us a share price of $1,000. Absolutely crazy because that, that's how the ratio works out. In like October, the multiple was, sorry, the share price was like 320 and that made the market cap about like 8 probably 820 Oh, definitely more than that. Probably about 850 Billion. So even then it was still I guess kind of cheap but the share price did fall a lot But yeah, I kind of want to show you guys the comparison to Amazon So we're gonna be looking at 2020 all these numbers except for PE and I guess this column are billions so up in 2020 I think more at the end of March whatever numbers we were working with Bob a market cap of 557 about what it is today. Oh, no, sorry, these numbers are today. Mark cap of Baba 557. Amazon's 1.8 trillion. Here the PE. Amazon's PE is double. Actually, I think it's actually more than that. Why did I put that? Amazon is 69. I don't know why. I think uh, I think I put Google or something, so it's 69 percent. Not percent, 69. Or whatever, it doesn't matter. PE revenue, Baba did 509 billion, Amazon did 386, Baba did 1.3 times the amount of revenue Amazon did, net income 149 for billion for Baba, 21 billion for Amazon, Baba did 7 times the amount in rev income as Amazon, free cash flow, they did 9 times more free cash flow than Amazon assets they have 1.3 trillion on their books amazon only has three hundred twenty one billion so only four times i mean bob is four times larger and the equity they have eight times more equity in their company than amazon yet it's being traded three times less than or a fraction like a small fraction of what amazon's being traded at i think it's quite crazy and I get I only looked at like 2020 for this. But so we can look at like really anything. Let's look at like 2018. Total revenue 232. Go to Baba. Total revenue 2000. What is it? 2018 232. Uh, 250 is still greater in revenue. Maybe not as much, but go to even the balance sheet. And 2018, 717, go to the balance sheet, um, 162, so Baba still has more, or had more assets, I mean, again, these aren't the only metrics when evaluating a company, but it's sure, uh, sure is staggering when we break down, like, how much more money Baba is bringing in as opposed to Amazon. And I get the big thing we gotta discuss though is Baba is a Chinese company. So they're kind of have different regulations and there's they're kinda of cracking down on some companies that might be misleading investors into you know buying their shares. But I do think Baba still is like not an exception, but they've been around the block for a while. They have a huge business, many people like buy from them, so like, I don't think it's just going to be one of these, like, companies that just, like, all of a sudden have some huge scandal with it. And, I mean, it's always possible. I think it's always within the realm of, like, uncertainty. But I just think as an investment, I think people are hammering this company way too hard. Especially because, like, just the neck in the news. But, you know, bad news feeds more bad news. And I think, to me, it's hitting a price where it's, like, Jeez, this company is like super undervalued and it might still go down in the future but again look at this free cash flow generation 
assuming all of these numbers are like correct and they're not manipulated, which I don't think they are. I'm, I'm like 95% confident these are all pretty real numbers because Papa does probably have some other auditors because it's such a large company. Like a while ago, this company LK Coffee or something, they like went out of business because or their share price went from like 30 bucks to zero overnight because they're like it wasn't a real company but like baba you can literally go to their online store buy stuff like it's so much larger it's only half a trillion dollar market cap it's not like even like dd dd is like 10 billion much smaller kind of a newer company to the market anyway so or at least new to trading stocks um are like publicly invested or traded so i think it Baba does have a little bit difference just from this cash flow generation, the PE. This business looks super solid. I think I don't think it's worth 2.8 trillion, maybe in like five or ten years. But at least in the short term, I think one trillion is like very doable compared to how Amazon like is at one point almost two trillion. And they're working with like almost half, maybe even less than half of what Bob has been ripping now. So I think just but these numbers look so strong. It, I wonder like in a couple of years from now if I look back to them and like wow if like Papa was faking these numbers but I don't think that would be the case. But they do definitely look super strong to the point where I almost want to be a little skeptical because the numbers look so good. But yeah. Since uh, I think we showed the chart but you know about 180 I think when they I think 200 honestly is gonna be a huge psychological support you can see it's going down there now down four percent today I forgot what the exact news was but it doesn't really matter it's going down I think they just man they look so good these numbers definitely one of the better businesses I've seen in a while see what some people said on the conversations page top reactions one hour ago eric said well if they can make a company non-profit just like that then every adr is in danger if that really happens will blow a lot of people's minds what does it mean for papa is it i'm not sure the assurance of and ipo news just fades away in this messy room where not ccp here i forgot what that stands for i was looking something up before um, uh, uh, jumping before this can be last chance to cash out or even last chance to jump on before the ER earnings report is August, like next the week, early August. Uh, Alibaba Group is regulated by the United States Security and Exchange Commissions. Alibaba is primarily in the business of service, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I mean, so you can obviously check the stuff, but oh, it's a cat. Job for you all doing well. Truly amazing what the Chinese government has done to companies. Baba should be no less than three hundred dollars, and here we see it near approaching two hundred. Makes no sense to own any longer to own to any longer own Chinese stocks. Waiting till October to sell off. Just a matter of timing. I mean, this definitely isn't a good way to look at it, but I'm just curious what people are talking about. In case you're wondering why this tank and pre-market, China is considering forcing educational companies like EDU and TAL to become non-profit and D-list. This is a buying opportunity because it's not happening to e-commerce. Interesting. CCP does a lot of bad things by holding, I think, get the Chinese, like SEC, I think that's what that is. Uh, look at the US market, short squeeze bubbles, trading freeze bump, and the China's being referred like, like a referee, like every government should. Instead of taking bribes to run for election, you can you have to visit China within the last ten years to realize how efficient and strong the economy is. GDP needs nothing when it's completely funded by debt. You try to govern debt or GDP is moving since. Yeah, I mean that's true. I mean everything's just funded by debt. So, broken company, no broken regulator. Yep, Chinese regulation is clumsy, non-transparent, and not aerocratic. Autocratic and today Baba incurs collateral damage from DD and education, nonprofit. A 
August Thursday inflation point and can't come soon enough. This is when I can read the Papa tea leaves separate from the collateral damage issues. <laughs> Interesting read from Seeking Alpha. Sally Papa stock printed in Amazon. Oh, this is literally what we were just discussing. Um, so a lot of stuff just popped up, but I don't have an account. Uh, can I get out of it? Sally Papa is entirely misunderstood by investors more than any ecosystem company. I shall explain. I don't think you're gonna get the chance to read it. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, I think this is a good thing or a stock to consider. I think August third is the date, you know, because that is earnings, so we'll be able to actually see, like, uh, if it's good or bad. But these numbers, the last three to four years, look super strong. No matter what happens in 2021, though, I this growth is staggering. So let me know what you guys thought below. Am I being dumb? I start buying some, uh, maybe I'll buy some more in a little bit, but I think anything above two or two hundred to like two ten, I think is a good buy for me. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought below, and uh, take care, everybody.